What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Searching for Tone. You're probably asking, what is all this get up about? Well, we're doing an unboxing today and we want to be prepared for everything. Today, we're going to be looking at the Tank G, but we're going to be looking really into this thing because there might be something to this thing that a lot of people aren't covering and I've actually only seen one video on it. So I wanted to see if they took the information from that and changed something that might be very alarming about this, pun intended. Those of you new to the channel, you might not know that I spent about 20 years as a firefighter, and that's not to brag or anything about that, but just a little bit about myself. That's where I got this helmet from. If you're wondering what that number is in the front, that's actually my last stop. The last place I ever worked was an engine company in uh, Staten Island. But has a user manual. Colorful little buttons so you can put on the, uh, the toggle switches. That's not what we're worried about. Although they could be a choking hazard. If you let your little baby brother around them. Double uh, male cord. And then a, uh, looks like the, the power cord for it itself. And of course, they don't give you one of those bricks. Nobody does anymore. And here it is, the Tank G. Switching is very nice. So just to let you guys know, one little thing that I found after shooting the video was when I went to put these clear plastic knobs on and thought I may have put them in the wrong order, I pulled them off and see, the button there. Let's see if I can find a stock photo of what it should look like. But that came off on all of them. So I guess it's not such a big deal because now they all have that silver thing in there that was supposed to be the, the top part of the, the potentiometer or the button. So I don't know how well these are really going to stay on in a gigging setting. I might knock them off and then lose them. And again, it doesn't really affect it because you could still push there, but now you're going to have to find that part. So, Just thought you guys should know. The uh, not super latchy and uh, these tiny little knobs over here for adjustments are pretty cool. I had gotten this actually to use it mainly as something like to noodle around with on a uh, the uh, like desktop and just plug in and just not really for gigging purposes, although you can, is very functionality. Oh, look at that. It's lighting up already. The battery is charged. Of course, I came ready with power tools all ready to go, but looks like it doesn't use conventional screws. As we want to take a look inside to see if this thing is a fire hazard. Hopefully this Allen wrench that I have here works. If not, I'm going to have to go downstairs and find something to open this bad boy up. This Allen wrench came from the uh, West Creek JX50 that uh, we did an unboxing on that we won from Fret Knot. Just a little shout out to those boys while we're doing some undercover, under the hood work. And it, it does actually appear that they listened. So you see right here, the uh, little black thing right there is covering up the battery itself. And there was an issue. They actually really responded to this really well. Hopefully I get that on camera. But the one foot switch over here if you noticed those, the welds, they're, they're a little pointy, but what they did is they put that black little covering over the battery itself. So that's really cool that they actually seen an issue and resolved it because what was happening or what I saw in the one video was that those little tiny solder points actually with enough pressure and time 
and from a gigging musician probably would happen is it was puncturing the battery which it obviously don't want to puncture batteries you've seen a lot of these fires lately with these uh you know e-bikes and things like that that are you know blowing up entire buildings because uh they are you know overused or they get punctured somehow and uh yeah that's really cool actually so props to play well the tank g for taking something and making it safer for us guess you could use this video as a cautionary tale that you might want to check under the hood if you have one of these to make sure that you have that little black piece over there if not you could probably remove the battery and just use it as a you know standalone gotta be you know constantly plugged in type thing I'm not gonna do a playthrough of this thing because there's plenty of other videos out there. I was doing this more to get the word out there that if you do own one of these, you might wanna check it out and see what's under the hood. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be featuring this eventually sometime down the road just through playthroughs and things like that. But check out Trey Shreddings. He does an awesome little playthrough of this thing and there's plenty of other pe people out there that are doing uh, a lot of reviews on this thing. Quick little video for you. Hopefully it saves you, your family, a little bit of a hassle. As always, you've been a fantastic audience. And remember, stay tuned.